happy Wednesday everyone. So today we are going to move on to part three of the shoe tying process which is poking that aglet in into the hole for that modified shoe tying technique and the activities I'm going to show you we are mainly going to be using um, either shoelaces or cotton swabs and we are also going to be using kind of like a compressible material like play-doh um, and then some little small items to kind of hide in that play-doh to really work on the skills of using that finger strength to push things in um, and to be able to really build that force when trying to anchor something. So for this activity it's using cardboard and you're going to kind of poke holes using whatever kind of design that you want and we're also going to use some shoelaces and then some some cotton swabs that are cut in, cut in half. And I will say that like you'll initially need to kind of poke the design with kind of a, um, you know, a screwdriver or a pen to really stab those holes in there. And then what you can do is that first you can have the kiddo start by actually really trying to poke the holes through. So if like the hole's not poked all the way through, they can really practice that pushing to open up the hole because that does provide a little bit more resistance. So like for this letter, some of the holes are opened more, but if some of the holes look like that, they're a little bit more shut, you can have them go through and kind of poke the holes through there and they're really working on that poking and finger strength skill. And then after, once they kind of open up the holes, then they can reinforce that pinching skill more by poking the, the shoelace through, pulling it the other side, poking it back through the other side and so on and so forth. Okay, so for this next activity, you will use Play-Doh and you're gonna use kind of little small trinkets, things that are of interest to the child. And this is really kind of just step one of the two part skills that are important in shoe tying, but this one mainly works again on that kind of pushing, um, pushing and poking skill. So you can just hide little um, buttons, you could hide beads or little small action figures, little tiny erasers in the Play-Doh. So just kind of teaching that kid how to be able to like really push something through and then you just kind of get more of these items and really just kind of shove it through there. And again, because of that resistance, it's really forcing their fingers to have to build those muscles of pushing something through that has a little bit of a, of a pushback. So, you know, I'm hiding my little Batman in there, really trying to push him through to bury him into the Play-Doh. And then you, again, you can do that with buttons, with beads, a little tiny erasers, little Legos, just anything that is small and that is of interest to the child. 